the Merlin, Draco, and Raptor engines are considered the modern and super powerful rocket engines of the 21st century, which contributed to the reputation of Elon Musk's SpaceX. But guess who created it? Obviously, Shotwell or Elon Musk are only a part of creating those great innovations. The real father here is a name you probably have never heard of, Tom Mueller. Despite not living in the limelight as Elon Musk, Tom Mueller is still known as the brain behind the SpaceX rocket success. In today's episode, let's pay tribute to the co-founding father of SpaceX, a legend in the world of aerospace engineering. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. As Vice President of Propulsion and later the Propulsion Chief Technology Officer, Tom Mueller took the main responsibility for the design, testing, and construction of SpaceX as engines. Born in St. Mary's, Idaho, a logging town with a population of 2,500 people, unlike Gwyn Shotwell, Mueller discovered his passion for rockets so early. He used to build and fly Estes model rockets, then staged his invention in the high school science fair projects. Following this very first landmark, he continued to experiment with rockets, even building one out of his father's oxyacetylene welder and discovering adding water would produce more thrust. The turning point in Shotwell's life was when her mother took her to a Society of Women Engineers event, which inspired her to become a mechanical engineer. Meanwhile, for Mueller, it was when he arrived in Los Angeles that the splendor of this city captivated him. He knew he should become an engineer instead of working as a logger like the rest of his family. Mueller compares his story to that of Homer Hickam, who grew up in a hard-working family and went off to be an engineer instead of following in his father's footsteps. However, Thanks to the years of helping his father in the log truck with tools, welders, and other things, and later using the lathe on the milling machine in the university's machine shop, Tom gained the valuable skills and intuition of an engineer. In 1985, Mueller earned a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Idaho. After graduating, he moved to California, began working in satellite design, and moved on to developing liquid rocket engines. Fifteen years later is the period he devoted himself to TRW Incorporation, a conglomerate corporation involved in aerospace, automotive, credit reporting, and electronics, where he developed rocket engines. At that time, rocketry was not only his job, but also his hobby. Tom spent weekends testing and flying his own machines in the Mojave Desert with a rocket club called Reaction Research Society. The RRS was an amateur rocketry group consisting of engineers from the aerospace industry that existed since the 1940. An ex-member of RRS said that, I knew Tom Mueller in the 1990s when we were both members of the RRS. He was a great guy, funny, approachable, humble, and the kind of guy everyone enjoyed spending time with. He worked for TRW at that time and was totally fascinated with amateur liquid rocket engine designs. The cost and complexity of turbo pumps generally made them the unobtainable holy grail for us amateurs, forcing us instead to fly pressure tanks which forced the liquid oxygen and kerosene tanks to empty into the injector plates in the engine. I have followed Tom's spectacular career since he left TRW and left the RRS to devote all his time to developing the magnificent engines now so famously and successfully used by SpaceX. Here's to Tom Mueller. The RRS Club is also the place that created the relationship between Tom and Elon Musk. The future CEO of SpaceX was then determined to recruit a team of bright engineers to build rockets after being doused with cold water by the Russians a year earlier. Elon did not know anything about rockets, so he really needed someone who lent his expertise in developing SpaceX and Tom Mueller had everything Musk wanted. Working in a fledgling startup company such as SpaceX at that time was pretty risky for Tom. He was doubtful at first and even asked for salary guarantees before leaving his career at TRW Incorporation. He shared, I was mid-career there and so it was difficult for me to walk away from that. It was high risk, but I just had to do it. At SpaceX, Mueller played a key role in developing rocket engines including the Kestrel, Merlin, Draco engines, and the initial Raptor engines. 
Kestrel was a small liquid oxygen and RP-1 pressure-fed rocket engine that powered the Falcon 1 upper stage, being developed in the 2000s. Kestrel was built around the same Pintle architecture as the SpaceX Merlin engine, but does not have a turbo pump and is fed only by tank pressure. So far, we do not see Kestrel anymore because it was retired with the birth of the Merlin engine and Falcon 9 version 1. In May 2014, Tom Mueller became CTO of Propulsion, leading the development of the Merlin rocket engine that powers the Falcon 9 rocket and the Draco engines that power the Dragon spacecraft. Being one of the most powerful and efficient rocket engines in the world with a horsepower of up to 190,000, the Merlin is capable of launching payloads of up to 22,800 pounds into low Earth orbit. The engine has a thrust-to-weight ratio of 150, meaning that it can produce up to 150 times its own weight and thrust. What's a game-changer here is its reusability which has revolutionized spaceflight. Thanks to those great features, Merlin has been helping SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket break many records in terms of number of launches, total payload to orbit, and booster reuse. So far, Falcon 9 is considered the best rocket, the most reliable, that's the world beater in cost that's flown nearly 300 times without failure. Mueller also developed the Draco engine that helped the Dragon spacecraft maneuver while in orbit and after that, the additively manufactured Super Draco engines that power its launch support system today. Dragon later became the first private spacecraft to dock with the International Space Station. It also became the first privately developed crewed spacecraft and is currently the only ship to carry United States astronauts. In 2016, Tom shifted to a part-time propulsion CTO role and continued to lead the development of the Raptor engine. Honestly, this methane oxygen engine used to power the giant Starship rocket is the thing that he had been thinking for over a decade. When fabricating Raptor, he applied the full flow staged combustion cycle which is estimated to be the most efficient but also the most difficult to develop. The great thing is that he succeeded. SpaceX is now the third company to develop this cycle and the first to achieve success with it. Based on Mueller's huge initial contribution, the Raptor has now been upgraded to a second version that produces 230 tons of force. When all 33 Raptor engines power Starship's Super Heavy Booster, they produce 16.7 million pounds of force, twice as much as NASA's SLS and the legendary Saturn V. Their power and reliability have been proven through Starship's IFT-2 in November. The success of IFT-2 paved the way for further upgrades on Raptor. Elon Musk promised that the next Gene Raptor engine would be robust enough not to require a heat shield would also have more thrust, higher ISP, and many other improvements. Although SpaceX is where Muller had the opportunity to fulfill his childhood dream of building rockets, this is also where he once worked for an insane boss. In his memory, Elon Musk managed SpaceX through aggressive scheduling, a learn-by-failing mantra, and taught his employees to never say no to him. And the one thing I noticed, if people were negative, they were not in the next meeting. He said, a, a company is a bunch of vectors. Each person is a vector, and they need to point in the direction that you want to go. Per the Elon Musk biography by Walter Isaacson, on presenting an already cut-down schedule for a Merlin engine, Musk complained that they had to move faster. How the fuck can it take so long? Musk asked. This is stupid. Cut it in half. When Mueller told him that was impossible, he was held back after the meeting and told that if he wanted to remain in charge of engines, he should give Musk what he asked for. I learned never to tell him no, Mueller says. Just say you're gonna try, then later explain why if it doesn't work out. Mueller supposed the sense of urgency was Elon's biggest weakness. If you give them a schedule that's physically impossible, engineers aren't stupid. You've demoralized them? It's Elon's biggest weakness. In late 2020, Tom Mueller left SpaceX and founded his own company, Impulse Space. It's building a spacecraft that can cost-effectively deliver multiple payloads to unique orbits from a single launch, per its website. As a goodbye, he tweeted on X that, I retired from SpaceX today, thank you. At Elon Musk, it was quite a ride. Although Tom Mueller is no longer working for SpaceX, the huge contributions he made over the past 20 years have laid a solid foundation for SpaceX development today. 
And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.